Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the month of November. We are at home and we are playing last place. This should be a goal fest, at least that's what I'm expecting. And we'll see, uh, we'll see how we go. The White moves the ball forward to McMahon. McHale gets uh, crunched on the edge of the box. And that, uh, that can't, oh no. Oh, gee whiz. John Cooper giving up the ball in a bad spot there. Pratt's been playing well for us, actually, out there on left wing back. He's, uh, he's been doing a job, which is good. He steps in again. It's one of those examples where the performance is probably even better than the, than the computer's rating, actually, is. Webb to McHale. Oh, McHale makes a run from deep, hits the through ball, and then punches it past the keeper. Falks has the ball in the middle of the field. Let's go back to Saunders. Looks forward to White, who's shaking off a bit of a knock. Webb doesn't really do anything with that. Falks hacks it forward to Webb again. Mikhail skimming the top of the bar. Interesting game thus far. We're only scored one goal, though, and I really don't think that that's enough. But we are dominating the shots. East Thorak really haven't managed to get forward much. Oh no! It is another penalty. We have given away so many penalties. If anybody knows how to uh, give instructions to be careful in the box, to, to not give away penalties, because obviously I'm tackling hard on the field proper, but I mean, the, we just seem to give away so many penalties. So the second half begins, it's one all, it's really not good enough after we give up that penalty in the first half. So not at all the goal fest that I was uh, hoping for or expecting. We draw one all as the team on top of the ladder the team on top on the bottom of the ladder oh dear hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to the FA Trophy the fourth qualifying round we're here playing Romford and I'm not gonna say this should be a goal fest because I, I said that just previously and we drew the game so uh, here, here comes um, Pratt and uh, Oh, Mikhail at the back post. Okay, so we're off to a good start. That makes me considerably less nervous about the result. We've got some expectations from the board regarding this competition. We've got to reach the second round, so we've got a little bit of work to do. We need to get past here. Webb drills it into the keeper, Hayes. Blackwood dives in, can't get the ball. Evans cleans up for him. Mikhail to Webb. No. That, that should have been a goal. It's a tight angle, sure, but it was open. McSporran. That's a great name, McSporran. Here comes Webb again. Goes selfish. I mean, he, he needs to square that up there. That was the secret to our success in the earlier earlier games was squaring that ball up there and using the uh, the width provided by the three uh, three strikers. McMahon on the inside, We're getting plenty of it right now. Plenty of opportunities and plenty of possession, plenty of shots. Just need to start getting some to go home, I think. Cooper gets it back to Sutton. Called Sutton up for the game today. Uh, we benched uh, Shaw and Salmon, who really didn't have a good game last time out. 
Saunders in the middle of the field goes long. Oh, McMahon's free to Webb. Yeah, Webb buries that one. So Mikhail and Webb both have a goal each. Webb's got an assist and so is uh, Paul McMahon. Here comes Blackwood. Webb. Oh, McMahon, he's in the box. Can't get the cross in. Couldn't square it up. Just uh, too many defenders. Romford throwing up a wall at the moment. And Hayes rises well. Sutton goes to Webb. They're at sixes and sevens. Mikhail. He scores himself another goal. Sutton to Pratt. Sutton. I need to sneeze. That feels better. And McMahon buries it. Top corner. What a goal. We are rolling now. 4-0 the scoreline. Let's go. Second half. We're up 4-0. We just need to keep going the way we were going. This is a good opportunity, actually, to get some... Uh, morale together and get the squad feeling good about themselves. Sheehan scores himself a goal. Okay, fair enough. Surely we don't lose to, to uh, Romford from here, though. Ah, dang it. So Saunders is injured. Uh, we need to make a change here. We're going to put Tim Blackwood actually back into the middle of the defense. And we'll swatch, switch him with uh, John Cooper, who seems to be a little bit more comfortable in that role. Uh, we will throw on uh, Sean Berry into that right uh, wing back position. And we'll go. It's not good Saunders being injured like that. Hopefully it's not a long term injury. Because we're getting really short on the uh, centre defenders. Sutton finds McHale, and McHale finds a blue shirt rather than a black one. Oh, Sheehan in the middle to Carragher. John Bacon saves well. Man hacks it forward to McHale. In the middle, Webb gets dispossessed at the last possible second. What a saving tackle that was. Sutton, Falks. Really scores from out there. It was a good effort. McHale looks inside. McMahon. Webb out wide. Crosses it back into McHale, who's wide open. Unbelievable. And that is a hat trick for Ian Webb. McMahon. Oh, Falks. Very Gerard-esque. The way he's been attacking that ball and attempting to score. Oh, there we go. Neil Sherlock. He claws back a goal for Romford. They have another corner here. And that's it. 5-2 the scoreline. We advance in the cup. Let's uh, go quickly, check out the month's results and have a quick talk about the club as it is. So the third qualifying round, that's great. Saunders is going to be out for uh, five to six weeks. That is not good. We received some money, which is good. Let's have a quick look at the squad using the work, the space, uh, profile views. These are things are fucking awesome, just by the way. If you play uh, Football Manager, download these things. They're awesome. He's obviously gone to the trouble of building these views, that, which give you, you know, as much information as you would like. So Paul McMahon remains our top scorer at the moment. 23 appearances, 17 goals. He's doing really, really well. Ian Webb, 12 goals from 20 appearances. McHale, 12 goals from nine starts, four substitute starts. Uh, Keith Moises, 10 goals from 15 starts. So our strikers are doing really well. And then we have Ian Falks, who's... Uh, having a very very good season I would say uh, five assists five goals himself 
from his 20 starts and two uh, substitute appearances. Steve White, less of a, an outstanding season, I would say, compared to Falks. Even though his average rating is higher, I don't get that. In terms of getting result, though, his uh, stats are a little bit slower. Uh, slower, lower, is what I meant. Um, Saunders has been solid down back for us, but he's kind of fallen off in the last recent weeks. Uh, you can see the difference between the last five games and his average rating. Anytime the average rating is higher than the last five games, you know that they're on kind of the downside of a of a form swing. John Bacon, however, is on the upswing of a form swing. What else did we want to look at? Uh, Medical Center, we've only got the two injuries. Jimmy, Jimmy Leonard... Uh, still out for a couple of weeks yet. Keith Moises just came back. We didn't play him in that game. I didn't really want to risk him because I wanted to make sure that he is fully recovered before we throw him on the field. What else? Oh, the schedule. We lost. We lost Eastbourne Borough. How dang. I've actually, I've actually uh, coached this um, club in a previous save. Uh, not on FM 18. It was actually FM 2012. Spent some time at the club and they they beat us and they beat us well two 0 So that was not ideal, but we'll uh, we'll keep fighting because at the moment we're still sitting, you know, around the mark. We have gone down um, a point to Whitehawk. They've got a draw instead of a loss, and that's that's the one point. Our goal difference is one goal better, however. And we're going to go into the next uh, the next rounds of the FA Trophy. So I look forward to seeing you then, guys. I hope that you're enjoying the series thus far. If you have any suggestions, any tips, please do let me know. I am keen to find out what kind of uh, master strategies people have got to help us create a good club here at Irrationals FC and potentially win promotion.